My pleasure to have us continue in this special edition. You and your health. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okoye. This time around, we're going to start from solving problems. We've received a lot of text messages, WhatsApp and all that, with all kind of health-related problems. And you know what? Majority of these health-related problems which people sent in are almost the same. And that actually confirms God's word that says, the problem you are passing through is common to all men, but he will not suffer you beyond that you are able. But in the midst of it, he will make a way of escape. So today we are going to look at some of these very questions, not actually putting up emphasis on the name of the person that sent it, but a problem that is common to all men. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye, now on TVC News, every Sunday by 3.30 p.m. Welcome back. We have a number of questions today, so many of them that we don't have much time to waste. Let's take them quickly. Dr. Richard, Thank you for allowing God to use you. Thank you. Please, my mom's condition makes me cry anytime I visit her. If she is not complaining pain on the knee, it is finger, leg, everywhere. Always on painkiller. Please, can anything be done? Interesting. See, we're going to look at this particular case from a very interesting perspective. She is saying that her mom is having multiple joint pains. She says knee, um, finger, and sometimes all over the body. She has been on painkiller. Now, let's be able to get something out here. There's what is called arthritis, inflammation of joints, all right? And when you are looking at this very subject of arthritis, there are so many types of arthritis. You have the osteoarthritis, you have the rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile arthritis, psoriasis, you have gout, you have so many of them. Each of them, they have their own peculiarity. But osteoarthritis is the type you normally, which I normally like, like a case like this, is called osteoarthritis. It usually affects the cartilage in the distance. In most of the cases, if the cartilage is eating, you can see the person's leg bow. However, when you have another type of arthritis, suspicious of what her mother is having, the one that the pain may be somewhere all over, pain on the hand, then really in all these metatessas and all of that, that kind of migrating pain or multiple joint pain could result from rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune disease. And in addition to that, they tend to feel so tired. They are not like their full self and all that. So that particular case needs to be further evaluated, also using some level of tumor markers to be able to identify what kind of rheumatoid is it a rheumatoid factor? Is this systemic lupus erythromatosis related? And all of those things. So I will suggest for this kind of a case, take your mother to the hospital, let her be properly evaluated, in addition to also using the x-rays to look at those um, joints, and as well, being able just to do some blood work. It may be so revealing, because under that condition, she will benefit her treatment from a rheumatologist. You know, it's a physician that is actually spe uh, specialized on that, and some of them are also available in the country. But if it is something that has to do with the knee, having that very kind of pain, or the hip, maybe the person will not be able to walk. I think we dealt with that. Uh, you could be in position to have what is called painless and minimal stitch knee replacement surgery is available in the country today where you, the person may not even need to sleep anymore and that could be done within five hours that leg can be made to be moving and within 10 days the person should be free 
to do her work again. So, but that is one of the solutions that is available in that area, but further evaluation needs to be done for this kind of uh, peculiarity, okay? Other kind of arthritis or gouty arthritis, which is uric acid related, that also could be found and be treated accordingly. All right. Let's quickly also look at this. Dr. Save Life, is it true that sugar causes pile and pile causes weak erection? Yeah, it is important for us to begin to demystify some of these things, all right? The issue of pile is, a pro, is, a, is what they call um, engorgement of the blood vessels around the anal area, and it causes what is called painless anal bleeding. Listen to that. Except that it got into got thrombosed most times into anal. So when you go to the toilet, prue everywhere will be red. All right. That particular one is called pile, or you call it hemorrhoid, all right? So, but in that particular case, all those why you say, when I see, I eat sugar, I will see pile. No, it's not sugar related. Maybe because when you are passing house school, if it's crushed that place, blood will come out, all right? But that in today's world, calling on for moving up and down and looking for whom to blame, there's what is called today laser hemorrhoidectomy. You know, before this time, they used to do a cut, and from the cut, you sit on the seat back over time, and later, staple hemorrhoidectomy came on board. I think I have some of them here. This is staple hemorrhoidectomy, but now the laser hemorrhoidectomy came on board, which only 10, 15 minutes treatment. The fellow can go home, everything can train. On the other hand, also as can pile cause weak erection, there is no proof to show that if because you have pile, you have weak erection, you may be looking for something to tie. Go and solve your problem. Pile is a problem of its own that has already been solved. So don't use it to confuse us. So let's be able to go further. I have another case here also. Doctor, I have learned a lot from your program. My uncle, my uncle legs are swollen for three months. Now he can't do anything. I know from your program it may be her problem. That's good. But the children said it is poison. Please, what can we do for him? Look at this interesting one there. We have a very interesting, you know, that is what we are working. The essence of this is that our people have been dying because of preventable diseases. And we say no to that anymore. No, it can't continue. How could it be said that Nigeria life expectancy is currently 55.7, sharing border with Chad as the lowest in the world, against the global average of 72 years? Something is wrong. All those witches and wizards, we have to first of all keep them in the cooler and start asking more questions. What could be responsible for this? She says something that the uncle was having swollen legs and from this very program, she got to realize that I made mention that anybody that you see with swollen legs and you press that leg, the leg goes in. The person is getting so weak, if he climbs the case, it will be as if he's getting breathless, that that person is most likely to have a heart problem. That is correct. The uncle may be having heart failure. Classical. From what he said, he said, now he can't, he can't even do anything. Meaning that the man is so tired, if he gets a little bit, he will get tired. That is a classical sign. Not able to, the swollen legs, not able to sleep well in the night. If he sleep, it will be as if he's choking, call or top near. All those things happen. Additionally, a person with swollen leg bilaterally may be having a problem with the kidney. Today we have a lot of kidney related problems in our, in our society. A lot of kidney related problems. That's why I said, and I will keep saying here, Please, the time has come for us to be in position to ask certain questions. 
What is responsible for this level of kidney problems? Yes, diabetes, hypertension has been primary, but younger people this time around having this, we must think of what we are drinking. We must think about what we are eating. We must think about some of this stuff. If you are not sure of what they gave you to drink, you better drink water. You better drink water. I tell you, it's beginning to be a big concern. So if you see such bilateral pedal edema, that is rolling or the less, then the person is getting drowsy, is getting tired. It may also be that this other person may have a problem of kidney. Or if there is a chronicity, like in the case of liver disease, that the person has, you know, having the issue of hypoabnomia and eventually because of lack of protein or so, they will like maybe swollen. But what I will suggest as you rightly ask, encourage the children, let them leave poison. We will talk about that later. Let them leave. Let's get to the hospital first. Be properly evaluated. You know the good news. Even if when somebody has a heart failure, today you can do pacemaker. Pacemaker can be attached on the person the heart is already failing and that heart will start jacking back again the way this particular pacemaker is done using what they call cat lab. It is something possible. So that is one of the things that we should not allow our people to be dying on things that are preventable. Only when we get to their grave, we mention one person is responsible, one demon is responsible. Whatever the issue, Nigerian life expectancy is lower than others, even when we pray more than them. Something may be wrong. And what do you think it is? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I do hope you are getting something from here. Please take this particular number, share that particular illness. Even if it's something they say, no, there is nothing that can be done. Can we get a second opinion? There are other people that are passing through, same thing you are passing through. Perhaps the same demon in your house is also somebody's house, all right? But let us find together what could be done to help her. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye, now on TVC News, every Sunday by 3.30 p.m. Let's quickly look at this particular sensitive one. It said, Doctor, is it true that once a kidney patient starts doing dialysis, that patient will continue with dialysis or do transplant? Should I make this answer simple? The answer could be yes. The answer could be no. Why did I use two kind of answer? Number one is that Kidney could fail, but there are two types of kidney failure. You have the one they call it acute kidney failure, and you have the one is called chronic kidney failure. The one of acute kidney failure is something that happens suddenly, you know, acute, all right? Maybe, maybe this other person has suddenly, you know, started losing water, vomiting, vomiting, or stooling, stooling, or bleeding, 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 and all of a sudden, no blood is coming again to the kidney. Over time of waiting, it may pack up. But that particular packing up may not be 100% packing up. It's just like somebody who has been there, there's no water, there's no, in the desert, you will stay there. But if in the scenario where, because it's not working, all of the things inside the body that's supposed to go out will not be trapped inside. So this person will not start having all those crises, all right? But if another person that is so dry, very thirsty, all of a sudden they draw water inside the mouth, it may begin to... He said, hey, he's still alive. He's still alive. That's exactly what a key situation could be in a scenario where such thing happen or there is a massive infection or there's what is called anaphylactic reaction. Those things that suddenly somebody please with your bone, the body, everything pack. Those things in a scenario it happen, the body contains some things that may not be able to go out. You may do a dialysis. Some of them may do one dialysis, 
Second one, the kidney may come alive again and started working. So such could happen and you may not continue dialysis. Nevertheless, once it has come to a point, if the glomerular filtration rate go below 15, that particular kidney may not be in position to recover. So most times that particular chronic kidney failure become dialysis dependent. If you have started dialysis, plan your mind that to begin to prepare for possible kidney transplant. In this country today, kidney transplant can be successfully done. Successfully done. So it's no longer a death sentence. So these are some of the two different things you must have to know. That's what is called calcul kidney, not uh, dialysis dependent, chronic kidney problem, dialysis dependent. But the hope here is that kidney transplant can still be done. An excellent outcome is still there. All right? I hope that one make uh, you, you go with a good understanding on that. All right. We look at this one also. Doctor, thank you for this opportunity. I have eye problem. I went to eye clinic. They said I have glaucoma and gave me eye drop. I have taken it, but I find it difficult to sleep with headache most times. Please advise me the drug seen not working. Please, this is a very, very important. Listen to me, please. You know what I said? What you are sending here is not just meant for you. You are helping other people. You are being part of it here now, and we are talking about what could be related to other people, not you. Come on, you are being empowered to save your loved one, even save your children, save your friends, when they may pass through this kind of situation, regrettably, most times they get ill advice. They got bad advice, unprofessional as it were. Now, there's something that actually rings bell in my head as this particular case. Long ago, I said she was having eye problem and she went to eye cleaning. They gave her eye drop in the name, but based on the fact they found glaucoma. That's when the pressure inside the eyes, eye, okay? There's something quite striking for me to mention. Some of us don't even go for eye tests at all, which is very bad. Aging without going for health check is like driving a car without a dashboard. It's very dangerous. But when you are found, when it's found out that you have glaucoma, which is pressure inside their eyes, that thing is as dangerous as diabetes. It's as dangerous as something that can render you blind. As a matter of fact, glaucoma causes irreversible, irreversible blindness. That's any percentage that made the glaucoma happen because it damages the optic nerve that sends message to the eye, to the brain. And that's why if somebody's eye will be open, but they can't interpret what he's saying. That's what the, um, glaucoma, even diabetes also cause them. They cause what is called retinopathy. All right? Now, when this very damage is happening on the nerve, the person won't see. So the person will have irreversible Self God intervened, irreversible blindness. Nevertheless, in her own case, there's something also suspicious. That, that's why I said it's a very interesting thing here. She said that she couldn't sleep in the night and she keep on having headache. Another high index of suspicion, and that index of suspicion is that there could be a possibility of what they call space occupying lesion in the brain. Eventually, those ones that may be around the anterior pituitary, pituitary adenomas, and all those kind of tumor, around the not closer to that area. If it is pressing on that nerve, the person may be having also eye problem, it could also be having headache. That's what they call differential diagnosis. Now, I'm not too sure. All right. For what do we do as she advised? If it is glaucoma, almost always give attention to it to correct that pressure to be out of it. If there be a need of 
uh, intervention in surgery and otherwise, that could be considered. But I will advise you get to the hospital and be further evaluated. Most importantly, do the MRI of the brain to be very sure there is nothing that is expanding inside, giving pressure to the eye, and also causing those very headaches that you couldn't sleep. That is very important. So if it is ruled out, then you can now focus on the issue of um, glaucoma and be able to manage it. I do hope this particular one makes sense. Please, it's very, very important, very, very, very important what I have actually said right now. So we quickly also get to this one more. Dr. Richard, you may not know thousands of lives you have saved, but may God protect and preserve you. Amen. Please, doctor, I have been having pain, pain at my back, and I did scan. It said kidney stone, okay? Doctor said I should be drinking water. Honestly, how long should I continue to drink water? I drink both day and the night. Hey, yeah. Sorry. I could understand the depravity of um, somebody, you know. <laughs> he said he don't drink water tired. That's what is summary. <laughs> summary of the whole thing. I have been drinking water. So is there anything, when we this guy water, you know, drinking this water, so now, let's be able to get the picture very, very clear. He says something that he has pain in the back, which most likely, pain that comes around the very severe pain could be coming through from kidney stone, all right? And one fundamental thing we should know, if you have kidney stone, Kidney stone has a possibility of blocking the pipe that brings out urine, and if that is not removed over time, it may expand the kidney. You have what is called hydronephrosis. And if there be infection that goes in there, cause pyelonephritis, and that person, that kidney can pack up. It is something that anything that will try your kidney, please. As much as a lie within your reach, avoid it. Of course, you know it's not poverty friendly. I must admit it here. Be that as it may, study has shown collectively that dehydration is the commonest cause of kidney stone. Dehydration is the commonest cause of kidney stone. So, when you don't drink water, you are prone to that. To me, my brother, I can understand how the stressful it could be you drinking water in and out. Please continue. Water know they kill. All right? Water know they kill. And God who so bless us in this side of the world is abundant. Keep on drinking. It is better than you coming down with kidney stone. If you already have stone that has stayed not coming down, by all means, take that very stone out. Today, technology has done something. I have something here. This is what is called laser lithotripsy. It will get to inside without tearing anywhere up and shatter the stone and the entire stone will come back. But when even if it's shattered like this, drinking water becomes the therapy for prevention of stone. That's the much we'll be able to take today. Keep on sending those test messages. We will keep on right now and be answering as many as we answer in each of these episodes. Together, we can build a healthy family and a healthy society. God bless you. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okwe. See you again.